wildfires. The first sizable quake in years. Earthquakes. We are actively monitoring the weather. An historic heat wave. Just another year in California. Through it all, Cal OES was there to help prepare for it, <coughs> respond to, and recover from statewide disasters. In January, Cal OES partnered with the Great. Department Thanks of Education so to distribute nearly 21 million masks to county boards of education in response to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. To better serve Californians and keep surrounding communities safe, California's first in the nation earthquake alert system, MyShake, announced a new home base feature, which allows users to set a default location to receive alerts even if services are temporarily down or turned off. With one of the biggest sporting events in the world being held in California in February, Cal OES teamed with state, local, and federal partners on Super Bowl safety and security. The governor's proposed annual budget included $2 billion in funding and more than 1,500 positions for Cal OES. Wrap in March, Cal OES shipped life-saving medical supplies to aid Ukraine refugees, including a 50-bed medical station. Additionally, in California, Cal OES distributed more than 200,000 at-home COVID-19 testing kits to vulnerable community members. In recognition of April's Earthquake Preparedness Month, Cal OES drove across the state with an earthquake simulator and earthquake preparedness tips to inform communities on how to be prepared for the next earthquake. Cal OES also traveled across the state line, deploying firefighting resources to New Mexico in response to historic statewide wildfires. The May budget revision continued the state's efforts to strengthen emergency capacity and capabilities to respond to the increasingly complex disasters, security threats, and emergencies. Hello, I'm Sean Boyd. In June, Cal OES deployed a crisis communication expert to Montana in response to historic flooding across the state. And in recognition of National Gun Violence Awareness Day, California announced a new campaign to make California schools and communities safer with the promotion of gun violence restraining orders, also known as red flag laws. As the summer months heated up, Cal OES continued to offer support to neighboring states, sending a two-person recovery team to New Mexico to assist with recovery efforts due to statewide wildfires. Also in July, Governor Newsom proclaimed a state of emergency for Siskiyou County due to the McKinney Fire, and in Mariposa County for the Oak Fire. In August, California deployed an urban search and rescue incident support team to coordinate search and rescue operations due to catastrophic flooding in Kentucky. In addition, California also sent mutual aid firefighting resources to Oregon to help combat the Rum Creek Fire. Cal OES, along with the California Military Department, announced the creation of the first all-hazard fire engine strike team operated by State Military Department. Amid a record September heat wave and dangerous fire conditions, Cal OES prepositioned firefighting resources in a state record 22 counties. In support of hurricane response efforts, California also deployed emergency personnel to Florida for Hurricane Ian and urban search and rescue teams to Puerto Rico responding to Hurricane Fiona. In October, Cal OES completed the property cleanup of residences for 2021 wildfires statewide. And in advance of the Great California Shakeout, Cal OES scheduled a six-city road trip throughout the state to promote earthquake preparedness. Earthquake. Drop cover. Hold on. November kicked off with state, local, and federal leaders meeting in Sacramento for the California Mitigation Summit focusing on community resilience. As the calendar year came to a close in December, Cal OES hosted a three-day crisis communications course to train other state agencies on disaster-related roles and responsibilities. Incorporating new technology, Cal OES upgraded its fleet of Type 1 fire engines with increased storage and upgraded tools and lighting. Due to extreme cold weather, Cal OES coordinated with local partners to establish warming centers and to provide resources such as generators, comfort kits, and other necessities to ensure public safety. Just a few days before Christmas, Cal OES responded to a magnitude 6.4 earthquake near Ferndale in Humboldt County. For more, Visit our website at news.caloes.ca.gov and follow us on all of our social media platforms. From all of us here at Caloes, as we look ahead to the future, have a safe and healthy new year.